Hi and welcome to the session. Today we will learn about transpose of a matrix. If A given by A i j b n m by n matrix then the matrix obtained by interchanging the rows and columns of matrix A is called transpose of matrix A. And the transpose of matrix A is denoted by So, symbolically, if A is a matrix given by A, I, J of order M by N, then A transpose will be the matrix given by A, J, I of order N by M. For example, for the given matrix A, A transpose will be 3, 5, 1, minus 1. Now let's move on to the properties of transpose of the matrices. For any matrices A and B of suitable order the following properties are true. So first property is transpose of A transpose is equal to A itself. Second property is K into A whole transpose is equal to K into A transpose where K is any constant. Third one is A plus B whole transpose is equal to A transpose plus B transpose. And the last, that is, fourth is, A into B transpose is equal to B transpose into A transpose. Now our next topic is, symmetric and skew symmetric matrices. So first of all let us see what is a symmetric matrix. A square matrix A given by A i j is said to be symmetric if A transpose is equal to A. Symbolically we can say that the matrix A is symmetric if the matrix given by A i j is equal to the matrix given by A j i for all possible values of i and j. Now let's move on to a skew symmetric matrix. A 
a square matrix A given by AIJ is said to be skew symmetric if A transpose is equal to minus A. Symbolically, we have A is a skew symmetric matrix if the matrix given by AJI is equal to the minus of the matrix given by A, I, J for all possible values of I and J. Also, all the diagonal elements of a skew symmetric matrix are zero. Now, let's see some results. So, first result is for any square matrix A with real number entries A plus A transpose is a symmetric matrix and A minus A transpose is a skew symmetric matrix. Now, the second result is any square matrix can be expressed as the sum of a symmetric and a skew symmetric matrix. Let's take one example. Here we are given a matrix A and we need to express it as a sum of symmetric and skew symmetric matrix. Now from result 1 we have A plus A transpose is a symmetric matrix and A minus A transpose is a skew symmetric matrix. So, we can express A as 1 by 2 into A plus A transpose plus 1 by 2 into A minus A transpose. Where this will be a symmetric matrix and this will be a skew symmetric matrix. So, let us suppose this is equal to P and this is equal to Q. So, this implies a can be expressed as P plus Q, where P is a symmetric matrix and Q is a skew symmetric matrix. So, for this, first of all, we need to find A transpose and this will be equal to 3, 5, 1, minus 1. Now, let us find out A plus A transpose and this will be equal to 3, 1, 5, minus 1 plus 3, 5, 1, minus 1 which is equal to 6, 6, 6, minus 2. Now, P equal to half of A plus A transpose will be equal to 3, 3, 3 minus 1. Now, 
A minus A transpose will be equal to 3, 1, 5 minus 1 minus 3, 5, 1 minus 1, which is equal to 0 minus 4, 4, 0. So, Q equal to half of A minus A transpose is equal to 0 minus 2, 2, 0. So, let us express A as a sum of symmetric and skew symmetric matrix. That is P plus Q. So, this will be equal to 3, 3, 3 minus 1 plus 0 minus 2, 2, 0. Where this is a symmetric matrix and this is a skew symmetric matrix. Now, here this is a skew symmetric matrix and as we can notice, where the diagonal elements of this skew symmetric matrix are all zero. With this, we finish this session. Hope you must have understood all the concepts. Goodbye, take care and keep smiling.